I'm going to play Fortnite with the most popular controller on Amazon. But first, I have to actually buy the controller. So I'm on Amazon now, and I'm just going to type in eSports controller and buy the literal first option. And boom, the first result is right here. This is the Vitrix Gambit, world's fastest licensed Xbox controller. This thing actually looks pretty cool. It's $100, and I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And there we go. The estimated delivery is in two days. Now we just wait. Got the package. First, I got my sunglasses. Looking good. And then, of course, we have the controller. Wait, this thing actually looks so sick okay so it comes with this case and inside this there's swappable parts like it looks like a new faceplate thumbsticks d-pad rings there's even another paddle option here oh wait so instead of these three middle buttons this one just has like flat grippy buttons oh and i absolutely love the grippy texture the turtle beach recon controller has these like grippy triggers and paddles they're actually so nice and this controller kind of does a similar thing so it has them here on the triggers the bumpers and the paddles as well and it actually looks like this purple Base plate is like a soft rubber one, and then the white is a hard one with a front grip on it. With the interchangeable thumbsticks, I am definitely going to put on the taller stick in the right side, and I think just for fun, I'm gonna put in this weird D pad. Holy dude, there's actually so many features on this. I barely even read the Amazon listing, so I'm just now seeing all this stuff for the first time. So it looks like the back doesn't have a grip, which I would have liked, but it does have these little purple sliders, which I think when you move them, boy, that's actually kind of a sick system. So just with the these little sliders you change the trigger depth so it goes from normal to this like basically instant trigger that's actually a pretty good trigger stop i'm surprised now if i had to guess it looks like this button releases the four pedal option which i guess you can interchange with this two pedal option that's pretty cool this controller is actually way more interesting than i thought it was going to be there's literally like a hole to the middle of the controller that the cord plugs in all right so the controller is officially working now the only thing that i need to do is set up my paddles before i can actually use it oh wait so this is the even an actual button this is just to set the paddles on the back okay now actual first impressions it feels pretty good i literally never play with xbox style controllers so it's definitely gonna be a little weird and take some getting used to however the one biggest caveat that i have is right off the bat i can feel that there's basically no grip like these little front bumps that are supposedly grips really don't feel like grip i mean really when you're playing your thumb's literally hovering above it so it's like almost never even on it for controller grip you really need it down the back right here that's like the most important part however minus that it feels all right i think the only way i'm gonna get a real test is if i actually go and play against other players wait that's actually crazy look how little i have to press this down for it to actually activate all right here we go first time playing against a real player wait i'm actually kind of nuts no way <laughs> pretty average play but for my first time ever playing on this controller i mean that's a good sign there are very few four power layouts that i actually like but i'm starting to think that this one might be one that i actually do like Let's go. There was one really big thing that made this controller stand out in the Amazon listing, and that's that it said that this is the world's fastest Xbox controller. Usually when you're talking about controllers being fast, you're talking about the input lag. What that essentially is is the time in between me pressing a button and the action actually happening in game. On the old gen consoles like Xbox One and PS4, there's a very noticeable input lag. On the next gen consoles, it got a little better, but on PC, it's pretty good. But along with the platform that you play on, it's also heavily dependent on the controller that you use. Fortnite actually has a setting where you can check this and it's called latency debug stat so for some reason this setting right now is literally just not working at all but i did a little bit of researching and what i found was the standard ps4 controller has an average input delay of about 10 milliseconds for the average xbox one controller i saw anything from 6.9 to 8 milliseconds delay however the source that i found says that the vitrix gambit has 1.9 milliseconds of average input delay which when you compare that to a standard xbox one controller that's over four times faster and he claims it's over five times faster than his standard DualShock 4 plugged in. So although I honestly can't really tell the difference, some people might be able to, and I guess that truly does make it the world's fastest Xbox One controller. Wait, no, bro, the mantle didn't work. At this point, the only four power layouts that I like more are the Hex Gaming Hyper and my Strike Pack Eliminate. Otherwise, at this point, I would rank this one in third. Honestly, the more that I play with it, it might even be second. 
Bro, the aim doesn't seem to be too big of a problem right now. But I've been playing on this thing for about 30 minutes, and now I think it's time to see if it can carry me to a win. There's actually no way. I just played an entire pub, got a win, and I wasn't recording. Actually, I had such a good game, too. Oh my, bro. I can't believe I did that. I will say, though, even if this controller really does have, like, literally no input delay, I still feel like the features of the controller are more important than the input delay. As long as the input delay is, like, relatively low. This is literally the third person that I fought this game that's ran away. This is actually so weird. Now that they just won my first game on, they're gonna keep putting me in lobbies with actual sweats that play weird. No, dude, these triggers are so sensitive. Let's go. Bro, what a bunch of weirdos. What is this? That was literally the weirdest fight I've ever had. No, bro, I thought I had more minis. Wait, what? Did I kill him? Okay, I might finally be away from all those guys. I'm not gonna lie, this game has literally been so weird. But with that being said, I've been kind of enjoying this controller. In my last game, I definitely had a lot more like peace control and kind of cool plays. But I feel like I've been able to be pretty consistent. Right now, I'm actually still on those same exponential settings that I showed off last video. I feel like the build quality of this controller, it's honestly hard because it feels like good. It feels a little cheap and plasticky, but it also has a good amount of weight to it. Let's go. I would definitely pretty easily say that the Elite Series 2 feels a bit more premium, but this controller still holds some weight to it, and like, it does not feel bad by any means. Dang it, bro. Let's go, bro. Two games in a row. I didn't even need the first game because I just came back and won the second. My peace control and stuff definitely wasn't as on point, but that's still a win with five Elons. I mean, overall, I paid, what, like a hundred bucks for this controller. The value is definitely there. The controller does have a lot of good and honestly pretty unique features. I've never seen this trigger control system. I've never seen this layout of paddles. I've never seen the interchangeable paddle. There's actually so many features in this controller for like a hundred bucks. At this point, I've been using it for probably two hours and I think I can honestly say that it's my favorite Xbox controller. I mean, after now playing with it for two hours, I can definitely see why it's the top Amazon result. That literally looks so choppy, but it got the job done and he just left. I think that means it's time to call it. Make sure to subscribe. Use my creator code Carter2K in the point Adam Chop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to catch you in the next video.